हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर डूइंग वेल आई एम विन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अनबॉक्स एंड रिव्यू टेक इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अनबॉक्स दिस न्यू रोड वीडियो माई गो टू फॉलोइंग विद लिटल ओवर व्यू फीचर्स वेज टू यूज ऑन योर फोन कैमरा एंड पी सी एप्स फॉर योर फोन एंड एट लास्ट माई रिव्यू मैनी ऑफ यू माइट नो वेरी वेल अबाउट दिस ब्रांड रोड इज ए ग्लोबल लीडर इन ऑडियो टेक्नोलॉजी विद ओवर फिफ्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस in making really cool microphones and other products road is a uniquely australian owned and operated company with a passion for innovation obsession with quality now without wasting your time let's start up with overview and features of this mic so the road video mic go to launched in this year january 2022 it is a lightweight directional microphone or in other words it is a compact shotgun mic specially aimed at video creators podcasters or anyone wanting to improve the quality of content online meetings or zoom calls it costs nearly 150 australian dollars or 100 us dollars and slots exactly in the middle of budget and high end video microphones along with that it comes with 2 years of warranty it is highly directional has 3.5 mm trs output digital usb output Best feature is iPhone and Android compatibility. Now the 3.5 mm TRS output is to connect with cameras and digital USB output is to connect with mobile devices and computers. This microphone is compatible with Rode Connect software. And following is the content provided inside the box. One video mic go to mic, one camera mount, foam windshield and a TRS cable which is specially to use with cameras as shown in this photo now because this mic benefits a usb c output that's why it is compatible with usb c devices and most of iphone ipad and ipods these are the additional cables which are required to use it with different devices these are usb c to lightning usb c to c and usb c to a cables Here I found it have 12 months of warranty which is extendable to 2 years by registering product on Rode's website. Here is regulatory and safety guide. This is the TRS cable. And here is the microphone with very good build quality. Foam windshield on it is easy to remove. It has USB C port and 3.5 mm jack for TRS output for cameras or to plug in headphones. And last is this camera mount with cold shoe which is also movable to its front or back by unscrewing from bottom. Top has cable management slots. Again it is also very well built. All of the setup along with mic is very lightweight. That's why it is the perfect shock absorber to avoid any noise distortion while recording. Both USB-C and 3.5 mm ports are placed perfectly on mic and out of any obstruction. Now, primary benefits of this mic are it requires no battery or charging to use it. But instead of it, it is directly powered by camera or USB connection. That's why it connects seamlessly to devices and is as simple as plug and go mic. Since this go to mic doesn't have any physical controls on mic but on the other sides apps by road can be used to configure some options like input gain level high pass filter pad high frequency boost etc same as high end microphones by road but these benefits are useless while using it on a camera to use this mic it is not necessary to install any of the road apps but to play with some configurations because it is a plug in and go mic it can be simply used by connecting it to a mobile device or a computer but to unlock more creative potential we need to install these applications on the recording device so there are few apps which road recommend to use with their microphones we will have a look on that but before heading to the next part please hit the like button if you find this video any interesting or useful and please subscribe if you are new to this channel So to use full potential of this mic we need to connect it to the device and install the apps. 
here we go guys i have connected here my phone with the road video mic go to and uh, here we will discuss about the two different apps which i recommend for using with the road video mic go to with your phone so for the recording audio or recording videos first is road reporter and second is road central mobile app both of these apps are just for recording audios and uh, to play with the settings and my favorite is a road reporter app because it have lot more settings to play within the app now i will show you both of the apps within the play store first there are few similar apps in the iphone as well and uh, you can check out in your app store if we talk about android phones you can find out road central mobile and uh, there is a road reporter app we will first going to look at the road reporter app and uh, here we go now we are in the road reporter app and uh, here you can also record the audio uh, within the app and in the bottom there is a input gain slider to increase and decrease the input level of your sound it can be increased and decreased according to the distance between the speaker or wherever the sound is coming from so if someone is sitting far away from the mic we can increase the input gain level if a speaker is sitting very close to the mic we can decrease the input gain level we can decrease it to the minimum level to get the better sound quality especially for indoor recording i would recommend to keep it on the minimum input gain level and uh, that would be the better way for recording in the settings under configure again its input level can be set from 0 to all the way up 24 db high pass filter let us remove the low end noise from the audio recording it have three settings of 75 hertz and 150 hertz according to me 75 hertz is the perfect place to setting for now we will keep it on the off there is a high frequency boost which is recommended for using when using a windshield or dead cat on mic or recording in outdoor conditions to apply a boost to high frequencies uh, whenever it is windy or speaker is standing very far away from the mic so it is very useful in that condition pad is to decrease the input signal or gain level by 20 db which is recommended for use with the loud signal direct monitor allow us to listen to the audio direct from the microphone via the headphones with no delay and uh, here i will test it there is a input jack for the headphones i can connect them and i can listen direct audio coming from the microphone without any delay following is the slider for sound output level now the audio i am listening is directly coming from this mic With this toggle button in the direct monitor I can turn it on or turn off. Next is firmware which is and should be always up to date. Now if we go back into the main settings. Next is interface setting which have dark mode on or off button. Next is to prevent auto lock on or off uh, which I believe is to stop auto locking phone settings with this toggle switch. Next way it is quality settings standard and compressed standard is fixed at 48 kilohertz at 24 bit wave format while compressed mode have further options under compression settings in compression settings bit rate can be changed from 128 256 and 320 kbps and all of them recording at 48 kilohertz but in mp3 format this time the standard mode is recording at wav format and uh, compressed mode is recording at mp3 format now the only thing which i didn't like in reporter app is during recording it doesn't let change any settings except input gain level pause or start recording or end the recording now we will head towards the road central app so same as road reporter app road central mobile also have mic input gain slider hf boost is high frequency boost so while using this mic with a dead cat or in windy condition or in outdoor 
high pass filter which removes the unwanted low end noise from the recording and it have default three settings same as road reporter app which is off 75 hertz and 150 hertz and i said before i found the 75 hertz is perfect for the audio recording next is pad to decrease the mic input by 25 db and last is direct monitoring of mic or recording this was with on pad so it was recording at minus 20 db at the moment and now it is with off pad and last is the direct monitoring of mic or audio recording which i can decrease or increase according to need or i can turn it off now to get full potential of this mic again we need to install software on the computer you can find their links in the description. These are available on Rode's website for free. First is Rode Connect and second is Rode Central. Now I don't know why Rode Connect didn't work on my computer. Even I tried all the settings but it didn't work. But I really like the interface of Rode Connect app as it has few more options to play with while recording along with few audio effects on one side. Second is Rode Central which have the same window as it appears on a phone and it worked from the first time. So again it has pad, input level, HPF, HF boost and direct monitor. So while recording audio in Windows Voice Recorder, it gets all the effects from the Rode Central app and record according to the options I set or I change in the Rode Central. But again this mic can work straight away with any app like Zoom or Skype and it is not required to install any of the Rode apps. My personal review about this Rode Video Mic Go To is absolutely good. Best thing I found in this Rode Video Mic Go To is in its versatility. I found it is much better than any of my previous mics I used till now. Despite its cost is nearly triple as the cost of my old mics. I used Boya M1 Lavalier mic for long enough and later I used Simmer Wave S1 Lite with Small Rig Professional Video Rig Kit. You can check out my review about these mics in the link or card on the top and in the description. I really loved Boya M1 Lavalier mic but as I am recording mostly indoors that's why I am upgrading to this mic. Now this is neither a budget and nor a high end sort of expensive mic. Anyhow, it has some high-end features. In comparison to its cost, this lightweight and compact road video mic go to gives great value for the money. I would recommend it to any run and gun filmmaker. Till now, I didn't found any issues with the mic, but with road apps, and I'm sure that is not a big deal. As all of the audio you heard was recorded separately on a phone with the default voice recorder app and road center app in the background. From now on, I'm using just normal voice recorder app on phone with no rod apps installed. At last, just wanna give you a heads up about cables by rod that they are not well designed. Though many complain they won't fit properly into phones along with phone case. So be careful while spending your hard earned money. But overall, my review about this mic is excellent. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments and I will reply you back as app. Thanks for watching, see ya. Check out these videos if you are a content creator or you want to be.